you were tuned in to G5 Jeff TV, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, hit the share button as you come on in. This Saturday, heavyweight fight, Andy Ruiz versus Chris Ariola. It's going down on pay-per-view. I don't like the fact that it's on pay-per-view, but I understand why it's on pay-per-view. With that being said, you are tuned in to the official breakdown and prediction video for Andy Ruiz versus Chris Ariola. Now, of course, we got to start off with Andy Ruiz. Andy Ruiz has had a complete body transformation uh, working with Reynoso and the Canelo team. And the physical transformation looks great. It, it looks great. You know, he's, he's gotten rid of a lot of the fat. And, you know, he's toned up and he just looks like an athlete now. You know what I'm saying? He just looks like an athlete. And it looks like he's just dedicated to what he has going on right now. And that's a great thing. It's a great thing to see, especially from where he came from in his last fight against Anthony Joshua. Now, we all know Andy Ruiz's story. Andy Ruiz was the late replacement in the fight against Anthony Joshua in New York. And he scored one of the biggest upsets in heavyweight history and was the champion of the world. The media rematch was scheduled in um, in Dubai. And um, Andy Ruiz came in 17, 18 pounds heavier than he did in the first fight. Uh, he looked sloppy, looked a mess in there, and he damn near got shut out in that fight against Anthony Joshua in the second fight. And Andy Ruiz, you know, he, he came to the plate and admitted that he started camp late. He did a lot of things wrong, and he didn't come in as his best self in the rematch. And that's why I have a lot of respect for um, champions that have multiple title defenses. It's a whole different ball game to keep a belt versus getting one. It's harder to keep a belt than it is to win one. And that's a fact. And Andy Ruiz proved that because he didn't conduct himself like a champion. He didn't conduct himself like a champion um, after he won the title. And he let that celebrity get to him, let that fame get to him, let that money get to him. And it came back and it bit him in the ass. Now, unfortunately, he got rid of his old team that was with him when he won the belt. He got rid of them after he lost against AJ, but it wasn't his trainer's fault. It wasn't his team's fault. It was Andy Ruiz's fault because his fat ass was eating whatever he was eating and not working to keep his belt. That was his fault. But you see that a lot in boxing where a boxer loses a fight and the first thing they want to do is get rid of the trainer or point a finger at the trainer. Like, I, I hate that shit, but that's what a lot of these fighters do, and that's what Andy Ruiz did. And... So it's kind of bittersweet to see what Andy Ruiz is doing right now with Reynoso and Canelo's camp because I'm like, he should have been doing this with his old team. But maybe he needed to lose like that against Anthony Joshua. Maybe it just sparked a fire within him to get himself together. So it's very intriguing to see what he's going to do against Chris Ariola from a physical standpoint now i know he physically he looks a lot better and he looks more in shape but the one thing that you have to do is you have to put your body through a lot to go through a complete transformation so we still have to see how andy ruiz performs with the new weight you know with his new physical conditioning and things like that um we have to see we definitely have to see. You would think that it's going to work out for him in a positive way, but sometimes you can lose too much weight. Sometimes you could do too much to your body. You got to factor that in as well. Andy Ruiz is a very skilled fighter. He is a very skilled fighter, and I think Pete, there's a lot of people to feel like Andy Ruiz can be a heavyweight champion, a legit heavyweight champion if he got himself together physically. It looks like he got himself together physically, so we're going to see what happens with Andy Ruiz going forward? Is he going to fight the same way that he usually does in this fight against Chris Ariola? Um, is he going to change from a 
technical standpoint. Like we see the physical transformation, but is he going to fight the same? You know, um, him being in better shape, is he going to be more busy? Is he going to use his legs more? Um, will he be more defensive? Like what is he doing from a technical standpoint to improve? I'm more interested in seeing how he's changed from a technical standpoint than the physical part. And if he's improved any in terms of offensively, defensively, uh, using his legs, learning different moves, this is the perfect fight for him to show it. This is the perfect fight for him to show it because Chris Ariola is going to give him all the openings he wants. Chris Ariola is not gifted defensively. We all know that. Uh, we love Chris Ariola because he just leaves it all in the ring and he throws hella shots. He, he, he a dog. He a dog. Like, that's what Chris Ariola is, man. I'm a fan of Chris Ariola's. And he just throws a lot of shots. And he's the type that'll take six of your shots to get two off for himself. That's just the type of fighter he is. So it's going to be very interesting to see how Andy Ruiz deals with the pressure from Chris Ariola because he's going to throw a lot of shots and he's going to be in Andy Ruiz's face. That's just what it is. So I'm looking to see if Andy Ruiz is going to be using a jab on a consistent basis. Is he going to use his legs more because he should have more stamina and he's not carrying around, you know, that weight that he used to carry around. Uh, will Andy Ruiz be a counter puncher? I think it'd be great for him to be a counter puncher in this fight. Uh, keep it simple. Two, three punch combinations and uh, take a walk. Flash the speed. Two, three punch combinations. Take a walk. Andy Ruiz can be very successful doing that. Also, body work. He can definitely uh, mix those two, three punch combinations up with one to the body. There's a lot of things Andy Ruiz can do in this fight to make this fight easy. If he's just going to sit in the pocket with Chris Ariola, he's going to have a long night. He's going to have a long night because Chris Ariola is just going to bring that smoke. He's going to bring that smoke. You better believe he's going to bring that smoke. And Ariola's going to go out on his shield. You better believe that. It's just so intriguing because I'm like, I know what I'm going to get from Chris Ariola. I don't know what I'm going to get from Andy Ruiz. I don't know what I'm going to get from Andy Ruiz. And that's. I, I was I'm not even gonna lie. Listen, <laughs> I'm not even gonna lie. I was just like I'm not buying this pay per view. Like I'd be damned if I buy this pay per view. I I might mess around and buy this thing. I might mess around and buy this thing because I'm like I like the card. Don't get me wrong. I like the card. I just don't like the fact that it's pay per view. I feel like this is a Fox card. This is an old school Showtime card. You know what I'm saying? But I might just have to bite down and, you know, I might just have to bite down and actually buy this thing, man. I, I never thought in a million years I would see Chris Ariola on my cable bill. But, <laughs> man, I, I don't know. I don't know, man. I'm, I'm still up in the air about it. But I'm really curious to see how Andy Ruiz looks in this fight. And to be honest with you, my prediction is really just going to be a shot in the dark. Because I don't know what Andy Ruiz is going to bring to the table. So just taking an educated guess here. Um, I'm going to say that Andy Ruiz is going to get a stoppage victory in the eighth round against Chris Ariola. I repeat, Andy Ruiz, eighth round stoppage over Chris Ariola. Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comment section. G5 Jeff TV. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Please share this video. Support your boy. Support good content at all times. I appreciate y'all. Peace.